But if I, with, with the finger of God, cast out devils, no doubt the kingdom of God is come upon you. When a strong man armed keepeth his palace, his goods are in peace. But when a stronger man, but when a stronger than he shall come upon him and overcome him, he taketh from him all his armor, wherein he trusted. He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places. Another Bible translation says watery places, places that are not comfortable, seeking rest and finding none. He said, I will return to my house whence I came out. And when he cometh, he findeth it swept and garnished. Then goeth he and taketh to him seven other spirits, more wicked than himself. And they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. Amen. This passage is talking about demon possession and how Jesus Christ cast casted out the, de the demon out of a human being and how that how that person receive deliverance. This passage is also talking about salvation of unbelievers. In many passages of the Bible, the Bible points to the fact that unbelievers are filled with the devil, with the spirit of the devil. But only when the spirit of God comes into them, even like in this passage, Like in that verse 21, when a strong man armed keepeth his palace, his good eye in peace. That is, the, the man is like a palace, and the evil strong man is keeping the palace of, the, of that human mind. So when a person becomes born again, the Spirit of God casts out the devil out of his heart. And that person becomes clean, free from that demon dominion. His heart as a born again person is a dominion of the de of the devil. But the heart of a born again person is the dominion of the spirit of God. That is, so unbelievers, their hearts are the dominion of the devil. Their heart are the dominion of the devil. Unbelievers, their heart is the dominion of the devil. They need salvation. University education cannot do it. Culture, civilization cannot do it. Being brought up in uh, in the in the in the highest states and highest levels in, in taste and culture of European countries, in music, art and culture cannot do it. Their heart is a cesspool, is a cesspit of the devil. What they need is salvation. That is the, that's the reason why you find that they have gospel hatred, Bible hatred, hatred for Christians. And hatred, hatred for Christians and Jews. Hatred. They, they find every guys. They have this hatred for for holiness, for salvation. Hatred for God. What they need is salvation. The strong man and um, keep his palace, his goods are in peace. But when a stronger man, Jesus Christ, the Spirit of Christ, shall come upon him and overcome him and overcome him. Take it from him all his armor wherein he trusted and divided his spoils. Amen. Let us look at Ephesians 2 2. It 
y, y, y. Let's just take it from one. And you had he quickened, who are dead in trespasses and sins, wherein in time past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now walketh in the, the spirit that now walketh in the children of disobedience. You see, let us look at First Peter five eight. Be sober, be vigilant, because you are vastly the devil, a roaring lion. Work it about, seek it whom he may devour. That Satan is looking for whom he may devour. Don't allow him to come into your heart to devour you. Don't allow him to pounce on you and devour you. As you meditate on this scripture, it shall be well with you. In Jesus' name, Amen.